This is The Elegant Oxford with your host, Preston Soto. In today's video, I'm going to be dealing with a pair of shoes with damaged leather. Maybe some of you have encountered this before. It's not common, but it happens once in a while. I'll find a pair of shoes um, where the leather just will not lighten anymore. Every time you add moisture, the shoe darkens and there's no way of actually getting the shoe to, to get back to the original color. And this is one of those pairs. You can see on the right pair here, the cap toe is really dark and uh, there's no polish on it. It's just, uh, it's just the integrity of the leather. So if you add any type of moisture, it instantly darkens even more, uh, leaving you with a huge problem. So the owner wanted me to even out the color and um, as you'll see right now, I used acetone but nothing seemed to work. The shoe just was not cooperating. So I decided, and with the owner's permission, of course, I decided to dye the shoe a new color and to add a patina just to cover up uh, this old mess and to give the shoe some flair because the owner wanted uh, a unique look. So let's get started. Okay, so here I started using acetone. Um, but the shoes just were not lightening up. They weren't cooperating. Uh, the owner told me that he was having some issues, and he was right. <clears throat> the only way to uh, remedy this type of situation is to strip the entire shoe down and to um, get ready for dye. There may be a solution out there, and there may be an expert who knows how to do it. I just don't, don't know what to do. I've yet to find a solution. I've looked everywhere, and I've tried it over and over, and this seems to be the only viable option. Uh, I guess it's a type of true patina where the leather absorbs moisture differently and leaving dark and light areas. So technically I guess it's a true patina unlike the ones I add with uh, with leather dye. So some people like it, some people don't. Um, but as you'll see right now, when I add leather dye, it's also absorbed differently in different areas leading to a, a contrast kind of uh, kind of a museum calf look. So I started by using Mahogany by Fibings. It's a really great color with some brown and red tones inside of it. And uh, it's really good. It kind of reminds me of Alan Edmonds Chili, except I think it's richer and darker in, in a lot of ways. So the first coat is always gonna look pretty light, but you'll have to add more coats to darken and deepen the color. So as you can see here on the vamp, um, the dye absorbed a little differently. Right there you can see the little dark spot, um, but that's okay. I'm going to be adding a patina with chocolate brown by Fibings and a burnish on the toe just to give it that dynamic look and uh, a hard uh, patina and a burnish everywhere so it looks you know, uniform and not as random. So aside from the toe burnishing, I'm burnishing other areas of the shoe. As you can see, I am adding some darkening around the edges of the straps on this pair of Double Monk straps by Allen Edmonds. They're the St. John. And um, I'm adding more burnishing around the edges of areas. It kind of gives it the dynamic look, but it also adds symmetry so the shoes don't look um, as sporadic. Now I'm adding Burgundy Saphir Cream just for nourishment and also for a tiny bit of pigment so the shoes uh, have uh, some purple tones in them. I like that as well. So I didn't record the mirror shine, I actually ran out of time. Um, but after brushing with the cream, I did the, 
I did the mirror shine. So here's the before. As you can see, there were some sporadic colors here. And here's the after. I'm really happy with how, the, how this came out. I love the rich red, browns, uh, burgundies. I just love it all. It looks really regal. Um, kind of looks like museum calf. Um, I'm really happy with it. And I mailed the owner the pictures, emailed the owner the pictures, and he was super, super happy. So uh, I think overall it was a success. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at The Elegant Oxford. Links to my pages are in the description of this video. Remember, always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. See you next time.